welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is stephanie and i do videos based on faith and lifestyle and if you're not new here if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much welcome back to another video now today i want to hit you with a lifestyle video and i went grocery shopping this morning and i wanted to do this earlier but i'm doing it now so i'm getting it done um a lot of people though ask me stephanie what do you eat like you know you went plant-based what are you eating clearly i am eating <laughs> if you can see me um but there are so many things that i love and that i just kind of want to share some of the items that i purchased some of my staples um i have been trying new things but the things that i have here today are just some things that um i just want to share that are pretty common in my household that i will probably always have on hand um at some point or if not i'm going to be refilling so if you want to know what some of those items are if you just want some um, ideas or encouragement stay tuned all right so the first thing is or before i even get into it i'm just gonna post a picture here you can see this is just a kind of a layout of all of the things that um i was able to get to the, from the grocery store and i think um i came up to about sixty dollars um and this is gonna last me about two weeks um for um my meal plan so let's get right into it so the first thing i got is some cauliflower and i love cauliflower because it's so versatile it is become like the most popular thing in a whole bunch of different meal you know like keto you got you know plant-based you got all these things that have become just so popular but cauliflower you can do so much with it but the main thing that i do with my cauliflower is i make cauliflower bites and i love to make barbecue cauliflower bites so i also ended up getting this hot sauce and y'all it's not named brand so don't rip me apart i don't really eat hot sauce i don't really buy it but i just like the spiciness or the flavor of the buffalo cauliflower so i will literally do a um the, the buffalo sauce with this hot sauce and i will also use a little bit of honey um and of course we're not gonna get into how you know honey's not necessary honey's not plant-based but i like to use honey over agave and um that's just for a lot of different research reasons that i won't get into right now but i use honey to mix with that and i make a glaze and i just put it on this bake it and it get it really crispy oh my gosh it's so good y'all i love it um the next thing i got is some zucchini and squash now zucchini and squash you can do a lot of stuff with this you can make zucchini noodles you can make zoodles um you can just cut them up you can saute them you can bake them you can do whatever you want i think this week with my zucchini i'm just going to cut them up into like little circles and i'm probably going to bake them eat them as a side dish this week but like i said you can do like zucchini noodles you can put like some pasta sauce on them you can do like some tofu crumbles you can do like um meatless crumbles you can do whatever you want to put on them like you know even lentils i'm starting to really like those speaking of lentils got some lentils y'all i fell in love with dried beans um lentils are one of the faster cooking beans because they're really small but i love them because i mean they're just so it's just like you can put them in everything they're so versatile and i say that about everything i get but that's why i love the items that i get because you can make so many different meals out of different things so the lentils i usually do or cook these in my instapot um and i'll serve them over brown rice or sometimes i put them in chili um uh, and i think i got these this time because i'm gonna make something called a um lentil fritter or something like that i found this recipe on pinterest so i'm super excited about that and so also i always buy the brown long grain brown rice to go with that that i also cook in my instant pot um i guess since we went ahead and went over to the uh, carbohydrates i'm gonna <laughs> i want to show you the next thing i got which are the rice noodles um i love these they're gluten-free i don't necess i don't necessarily eat gluten-free but i mean i guess that can be that can be good these are all natural um and you can eat these in soups you can eat these cold you can eat these fried and when i say like fried you know a lot of people put these in like egg rolls they do um these in stir fry so for me this week i'm going to actually use this for stir fry um and i'll show you some of the other things that i got in order to make stir fry with these another staple of mine or one of my favorites is tofu i get the extra firm and i don't always get the same kind but i got the simple truth this time the organic tofu 
um and i love this because it's packed with protein along with the lentils um this right here keeps me satisfied and y'all it only has 80 calories per serving and i don't know if you can see this it comes in like little twin packs but this whole thing i want to say is 400 calories you can literally eat this whole thing and it's 400 calories i mean of course i'm gonna season it up and stuff but my seasonings don't have calories in them so technically if i just ate this yeah i mean you get my point i love this i love um tofu one of my staples um the next thing i got um for my stir fries um and i might do even stuffed peppers this week i got some peppers i got red peppers and i got yellow peppers and i think i have a green pepper from my last grocery shopping so i'll probably like cut those up saute those in my stir fry um along with you can't see them let me take them out of the bag some snow peas i absolutely love snow peas i actually haven't had them in a long time but i used to get this um box called hello fresh and they had this recipe in there that i will never forget it was a stir fry and it had snow peas in it and i was like what are these i didn't know what they were but i, I absolutely love um snow snow peas for stir fry and i also got some carrots to kind of stick in my stir fries and things like that um the next two things i got are some lettuce i always get the um iceberg lettuce and i get baby spinach because i don't like too soft of a, a salad and i don't also like too much of this iceberg too crunchy so i like to cut this up and mix it together um so i'll be doing some salads this week um the salad dressing that i usually get or, or i usually do um if i'm trying to really do it myself i'll do it homemade i'll just mix some olive oil and some seasonings with some uh vinaigrette some type of vinaigrette but i just went ahead excuse me and got the balsamic vinaigrette this is just a basic balsamic vinaigrette from kroger it is uh it says dress and marinade no high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors or colorings and i like this because i understand what is in here i can read and pronounce every single thing in here except for this xanthan gum which i don't really know what that is i have to look that up but i'm not too worried about that right now um but i really like the ingredients in this one um the next thing that i got oh my gosh i love 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 y'all kroger natural peanut butter literally this peanut butter has roasted peanuts and salt and i love it because i don't know it's just really good i've tried different um different natural peanut butters from different places and this is just my favorite one and i love it because it's a really great price at kroger's like 179 or something like that so this is just something that i will i will pretty much have at all times in my in my apartment now the next thing I have are avocados. Can't go without avocados. Now there are so many different things I will probably do with these avocados. Um, I will probably eat them um, with some like uh, scrambled tofu and avocado toast. Um, also, I will probably put these on top of salads. Um, you can make salad dressing out of these. You can just do a whole lot with tofu. Like I said, I'm all about versatile food. Like I need to be able to use it for more than one recipe, okay? <laughs> um another thing i got are lemons now lemons i will probably be making some hummus this week um so i just kind of got the lemons for the hummus and also sometimes i just like to have a fresh cup of lemonade so i will literally take these lemons and i will make lemonade out of those so that that's what i'm going to do with the lemons um now something that i actually don't buy all the time i got this time are brussels sprouts I got Brussels sprouts because I went on a trip recently and they, oh my gosh, y'all, I had these Brussels sprouts. I think they like put some olive oil, salt and pepper on them or something like that. And then they like put them in the oven, like really, like a really high temperature, like 450 maybe. And then they like kind of scorched them a little bit and then they covered them in like this honey sriracha sauce, y'all. It was so good. So I'm going to be trying a new recipe with these um, Brussels sprouts here. Let's see what else I got. I think um, coming to the end here. Oh, I, I don't know if I showed this one already, but I always get the um, Earth Balance Vegan Butter. And y'all, this little thing looks small, but this thing... <laughs> Technical difficulties. I dropped the butter, but we good now. <laughs> I always get this butter, but it, like I said, it goes a long way. Um, I don't I don't really have to buy this all the time, but of course it's vegan. 
um and just so many things i mean it and i can't even tell the difference because i didn't really use butter like that so um apples i love apples now of course my favorite thing to pair apples with is this natural peanut butter so 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 good y'all i love it um then i always or i i actually took a break from these but i got them this time i've been trying to up my water and for those of you who wonder i've been drinking seven to eight bottles of water so i'm super proud yes yes thank you thank you um so yeah i always or like i said you know when i'm not trying to fast from them i will get the seltzer waters and these are the lemon lime and they literally have zero calories they um only are carbonated with a natural lemon lime flavor but other than that no sugar um nothing like that so i absolutely love 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 these especially if i'm you know want something different from water so i'll try i, I love those now the last two things i got are gonna be like my splurge my kind of like guilty um treats or whatever like that because sometimes I, I have a really big sweet tooth um so i've kind of found these bars that my mom introduced me to um but they're basically fig bars um and they look like this and i got the apple cinnamon flavor and they come like six to a pack unless you go to like walmart they're like 10 to a pack but they don't have all the different flavors at walmart in this i know they don't have apple cinnamon at my walmart they have like raspberry and blueberry which is the next one i got is the blueberry one um and these are like my dessert like if i want something sweet if you know i'm just really craving something and i don't really feel like making anything i am going to most likely um eat one of these um so yeah some other things that i already have that are staples are like oatmeal like i said honey um i keep um like some chickpea flour chickpeas i always keep like beans in my cabinet things like that but as for the haul that is all i have for this haul um but yeah i hope you all maybe got some ideas oh how could i forget i mean i got some bananas i'll y'all already know bananas are good they can be used for a lot of things smoothies whatever um but yeah i hope you all got something or maybe got some ideas maybe you want to try to um just kind of see what it's like to eat different things um if you like to even see some of my meal prep just let me know down below um i love to experiment um and i'm not afraid to experiment um but yeah i mean that's what it takes when you're trying out new lifestyles and you're trying to make something work for you but thank you for watching this video i hope that you all have a great night great day whenever you're watching this and stay tuned for the next one bye